Okay, so we're going to today talk about lesson two of the home learning project. Uh, in your previous lesson, you should have uh, started off uh, learning about what this project is all about and also then creating a mind map, which is your initial thoughts. We are designing a project all about flat pack furniture. And today what I'd like you to do is identify a target market. Now, a target market is a particular person or group of people that you want your project to appeal to. OK, once you've decided on who you want your project to appeal to, uh, then you can start to produce what we're going to be working on in today's second lesson. So as you can see on the right hand side of the page over here, uh, we have a mood board similar to the one I would like you to create today. This mood board has been created for a girl of age five. And, as, and if you look at the images, they are all uh, a range of images of things that a five-year-old girl would like. Uh, if you, you know, we could comment about how they are sort of pink, how they're quite girly, how they are um, all sorts of things that might, she might want to play with and interact with. Okay, so all sorts of images. A mood board is a really easy way to start getting inspiration and helping you think about the person you are designing uh, the product for. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, what I would like you to do is go back to your PowerPoint presentation, the first page, which should have a mind map on it. Uh, create a new page, like so. And I would like you to create a mood board. So how do we create a mood board? You just need to go onto Google and search for images. Once you've created those images or search for them and you found them, then you can copy and paste them onto your mood board. So. Let's say, for example, I've decided my target market uh, is for toddlers. I could uh, search in here, search in Google toddler toys or something that they, they might want. I could then click on images, wait for the internet to load, and then put all those images that I've found on a mood board. And I've already did one earlier, so let's go and find it. Here it is. Here is my mood board of things that I think a toddler would like. So. You can tell by these ones, they're all brightly colored. They're all very safe to use. They're all made of uh, plastic. Uh, they're also all about learning. So this one here is trying to teach the person about the alphabet. This one's about shapes, uh, find motor skills and things like that. So once you've created your mood board, what I would like you to do is add a text box at the bottom. And in that text box, I would like you to evaluate your mood board. So talk about why you, these images are relevant to your target market, why, uh, why you've chose them, why and how they might help you actually design your own uh, bit of flat pack furniture. Now notice at the moment I haven't worried about having uh, the images relate to flat pack furniture, they're just relating, they're just things that my target market would like, okay, but I can use these images later on uh, and think about how they might influence the actual product. So page two, um, I would like you, please, to create a mood board of things that your target market uh, would like. Once you've completed the mood board, you've added some text and explanation. I would like you to upload it, please, uh, to Teams uh, for the assignment two, page two, uh, so your design and computing teacher can mark it. 